Before we finish the introduction here, I want to leave you with an example of um, a running application that actually uses um, a couple of ASP.NET AJAX features. Um, now to do this, I'm going to introduce one of these server-side controls that's um, probably the most um, interesting and probably most demoed uh, controls of the ASP.NET AJAX framework, and that's called the Update Panel. And the Update Panel is a really interesting control. It's, it's very specific to ASP.NET in the sense that um, it's designed to encapsulate any number of ASP.NET server-side controls and change their fundamental behavior in terms of communication with the server. So um, the way this basically works is you uh, place, well, first of all, you have to have the script manager on the page, as I mentioned, anytime you're using any of these ASP.NET AJAX features, make sure you have a single global instance of the script manager class. And with that in place, you can then place uh, one or more update panels on your page. And the update panel consists of a control te a content template into which you will place additional controls. Now, the types of controls you put in here are those that uh, would traditionally generate postbacks, so a button control or a calendar or a grid view. Um, anything that might traditionally uh, generate a postback as the user interacts with it, but that you want to change uh, from generating a postback to generating what's called a um, asynchronous callback or an asynchronous postback. Um, and this is often called partial page rendering because it's only going to repopulate that portion of the page, not the entire um, uh, page as you would with a traditional postback uh, request and response. So. Um, very simple to use. You just drop it on the page, put controls inside of there, and it uh, uh, yields AJAX-enabled pages without really getting into some of the details of client-side scripting and um, DOM manipulation. And the other interesting advantage to this model is if the client doesn't have um, support for um, the XML HTTP request object, it will, in fact, fall back on uh, the traditional postback. So to demonstrate this to you, um, what I have here is the same demo that we looked at earlier in this module, where I built up uh, a form that uses that used the uh, XML HTTP request object to populate a uh, div dynamically. Um, except that in this example, I've taken out all of the client side script, and I've removed the call to the uh, ASHX endpoint, and it is currently a very traditional standard. ASP.NET postback style application. So here's that same form, and notice if I type in an instructor name here and, and push find, watch the bottom um, uh, status bar here, I'm going to get a, well, over here, I'm going to get a uh, full postback, right? So <clears throat> every time we do this, we get the full postback, the entire page uh, refreshes and, and flashes and you see that standard uh, postback experience. So what we're going to do is um, bring in an update panel to um, give us a very similar experience to what we had before by doing a, uh, the hand-built XML HTTP request, but now we're going to let the update panel sort of manage that for us. So to begin with, um, we need to make sure we have a script manager on the page. Um, I like to put this right under the server-side form element, so it's always in the same place on every page, and um, you just need one of them. And then I'm going to go to the section of the page uh, whose postbacks I want to intercept and turn into asynchronous callback. So it was basically this chunk right here. Now you can really delineate whatever, whatever subsection of the page you want to with an update panel. Um, I think I'll start right here and go grab this update panel and drop it in here. And then within the update panel, I'm going to specify a content template. And then I'm going to take all of these controls that <clears throat> might generate a postback and put them inside of um, the content template. Let me just get my tabbing right here. Okay, um, this does have a designer interface, by the way, so if you prefer to drag and drop your um, controls, you can do so here. There's the update panel, and I could have just dragged those controls directly into it. That works fine. Um, and that's basically it. These guys are now inside of an update panel, and what that means is any control in here that uh, would traditionally generate a postback is going to have that postback hijacked and turned into an asynchronous callback. And that control right, is, is, is going to be the button control, and it's going to render all of the contents of this um, content template back as part of the response. So let's go ahead and try that. And what we should see is something that looks much closer to what I had built by hand before. So when I type in a name here, and I click on find, notice we have the um, 
asynchronous callback going on instead of the traditional postback. And that was all done just by uh, encapsulating this portion of the page within an update panel. So we'll explore that in much more detail in the, in the upcoming modules, as well as the web service callback model and the client-side libraries.